Hey guys, Shauna here, and we're gonna take a look at programming and brewing your espresso drinks on the Enna 8. All right, let's take a look at a couple of ways that you can program your drinks on this machine. So the first way, if you just have like one drink that you want to adjust, you can press and hold the button here, and you can adjust your volume, your coffee strength, which again, 10 strength settings, so you have quite a bit in there to choose from. To save, you're going to select this button here. If we page over, we can also adjust the temperature. This is pretty basic. There's a, a low, normal, and high. I like my coffee hot, so I'm going to save that. All right, and if you want to do multiple drinks at one time, you can go into the program menu here. From here, you're going to go into product settings. You can select which drink you want to program, and you can adjust as you want. So for me, we're doing an espresso, so usually about two ounces is good for me. We can save our settings. We can adjust the coffee strength. Again, for espresso, usually I like it pretty strong, so I'm just going to bump that up a little bit, and we can save it here. If we page over, we can access the temperature settings as well. And you can adjust how hot you want your coffee. And we can save it here. To back out, we can just hit this back button. And the programming you just adjusted will be saved to that button. Now that we've done some programming, let's brew some drinks. I'm going to start with an espresso. I'll put my cup under the spouts. We can adjust our spout here for shorter cups. And we'll hit our espresso button. Grinder is very fast, very quiet. And the machine will start brewing. You can hear that pep going as the machine is brewing. <clears throat> pep. What that does is it actually will pulse water through the coffee as it's brewing for shorter drinks. This gives us a great shot with lots of crema. A unique drink that this machine offers is the Dopio. What this does is it grinds and brews twice to match the volume and dose that you see used in specialty coffee shops. Or you can do two five ounce shots for one extra strong tall cup of coffee. All right, let's brew a long coffee. So we'll put our drink under the spouts, and we can again adjust our spout to the height of the cup. And you can adjust actually the bean strength if you want to on the fly. And now I know that this cup is actually smaller than what we have programmed, so I'm gonna adjust it down just a little bit just to make sure that it doesn't overflow. And now you can save these settings if you want to, but for this, I'm not going to. All right, let's take a look at brewing with your bypass chute on the Enna 8. So you'll want to make sure that you're using espresso that's fairly fresh, is ground for espresso, and has been stored properly. What you'll want to do is you'll want to take your coffee scoop and take a nice scoop here and kind of shake it off a little bit. You don't want to pack it down or anything. And you can level it off with a knife. So you have your coffee scoop. You can open up your bypass chute here, which if you notice, the machine will automatically recognize that you have the bypass chute open and that you're going to use it. We'll put our coffee funnel in. 
We can put our coffee in, give that a little shake. We can close our bypass chute. And we can hit our espresso button. And you'd want to use this if you have company over that prefers decaf coffee and you have caffeinated, or caffeinated coffee in your hopper.